take your grocery store flowers from this to this. Today I'm going to be using an assortment of mums, some pink tulips, and then some forage greenery I found beside the road. I got an order for a bouquet, and obviously nothing's growing in the garden. If you can see through the door behind me there, it's mostly just bare soil yet. So I went to the grocery store and got the prettiest colors I could find, and then I couldn't find any greenery, so I stopped at the local florist on a whim to see if she would have something and she was very apologetic she said she doesn't she has three events this week and cannot part with any of her greenery so i thought not a big deal um, my in-laws have a forsythia bush and i knew i could use some of that um, greenery this time of year can be a challenge just because the new leaves are so tender and won't hold up well in water um, but there are a few over the years that we have found that do all right um, so I stopped and got some forsythia. I also picked up some dogwood down by the creek. And I found another little tree. You can see the leaves here on the right that I thought was pretty. I actually did not end up using it in the bouquet. Easter is this weekend, so there are a lot of really pretty flowers in grocery stores right now. Um, so if you want to do this for your Easter table or to give to a friend, now's a good time to do it. Um, if you're looking for something that makes a pretty bouquet, I always look for different textures, different colors, but also colors that complement each other. And then I encourage you to go out and look in the roadways, um, wherever you can find some greenery to clip. You know, obviously always ask permission if it's not your property, but you can upcycle a grocery store bouquet without a whole lot of effort. Here I am just tying off the bouquet with a rubber band. I like to do that uh, to keep everything in place before I wrap it. I am known to make a huge mess when I work with flowers. It took me probably half an hour to sweep the floor and clean everything up when I was done here. Um, but I do encourage you to keep, keep the messes cleaned up. That's something that I learned along the way. Um, a mess can kill creativity. I'm fixing to wrap the bouquet, so I wanted everything to be dry. I bought this roll of paper on, I think it was Amazon, a couple years ago and actually have not used it until now. I wanted something black 
because I think that's a really pretty contrast with bright colored flowers. Um, and I also have some lightweight striped paper. And I will leave the link for both of those in the description. I don't have a real good shot of this, but when you're going to wrap your bouquet, just slightly off center it. Um, don't fold it exactly in half. Make so that the different, here you can see it a little better, the different points. It makes it look like there's a whole lot more wrap on the bouquet. Um, and then obviously overlap each, um, you can see on the top there, it's not closed. So I overlapped it and wrapped that part. And I use tape to fasten it here. I don't know that a staple would have held really well in this paper, but as long as you cover it up, I think tape can be a good option. I would have wanted to have a sticker um, to shut it, but I don't have stickers right now, so I don't believe we've ever had stickers. Other pretty options for wrap would be um, old newspaper, as long as there's not bright colored pictures and things on it. Um, I also like just craft paper, tissue paper works, and any combination of those would be pretty too. You don't have to go out and buy a bunch of expensive wrap, um, unless you want to. Here I realized that my wrap is, was too big, so I cut it down into two smaller pieces, and there you can see how we're folding it today. I just wanted something a little bit sturdier to protect the bottom of the bouquet there. And I wished for some ribbon, but I literally don't think I have any ribbon in the house here, so. Always trim the stems again before you put them in water. That way your bouquet will stay fresh longer. And I used the used one of the packets of floral food um, for my water here, and then also attached one to the bouquet to send. And there you have it, an upcycled grocery store bouquet. See how easy that was?